Hey BFF, happy Saturday. It's time for another live stream, my personal favorite part of the day. Um, and so if you don't know, I'm doing a really fun thing, which is, you know, Against Us just came out and I'm doing a really fun contest. So if you share the song Against Us on your story, you get to hear the next song that I'm releasing like over a month before anybody else which is really fun and because the next song i'm going to release is really truly part two to against us so it's gonna be really fun so if you want to listen to it early death do that sorry about my eye makeup today um if you follow me on tiktok basically i was doing this 10 minute challenge on tiktok and i decided to do this really crazy eye makeup and all pink and some of it's still on so that's why my eye makeup looks like this but it's cool oh hey care 23 hey brendan durham music thank you for joining hope you're having a really really fun weekend oh and by the way i just wanted to say um thank you to everybody who's um like supported against us and who's asked questions about it and have just been really really kind about it and are you doing a zoom i'm not doing the zoom today i think i'm gonna do it um tomorrow i think if i don't do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it wednesday but i'm gonna try to do it soon or not wednesday probably tuesday um hey bts underscore fan underscore page it's just like things are so much busier now with it being fall it's so hard to find time first up what advice do you give to those struggling with mental health i mean mental health is like such a I think everybody struggles with mental health in a way in one way or another we all have it we all deal with it so I think it's just so important that we all I mean I don't know just prioritize it and try to make it better if we can it can be really hard because sometimes it's more of just a chemical imbalance that you can get help for other times it's very situational and it's just really hard and it's hard to find a solution so just finding a support team is really cool just being able to know your triggers and just know if you're doing well or not doing well it's a really difficult subject like even i would love to find more answers of how to help mental health because obviously we have therapy and medication but those don't work for everybody so hopefully in the future they'll just be better options because I think so many of us are dealing with like really bad anxiety and really bad depression especially in 2020 like those rates have just gone up so much and I just hope that we can find better solutions and I mean I think eating healthy exercising I think that helps too and it's also such a personal journey for everybody like I think some people just simple things help some people not just finding stuff that makes you feel good learning your triggers avoiding them hopefully that helps how did you write against us well sorry whenever i was in a moment of mental health struggle i was always i was always very extreme about it don't you think yeah but i mean it's just it's what happens sometimes when you're in that state you just things get really extreme and maybe you do things or say say things that in your normal state you wouldn't and I mean that's natural and that's normal but it's just important to find ways to control it or just if you're having like one of those struggles just like breathe or meditate or just finding ways it's I think that it's just about finding ways that personally help you because everybody's different yeah it's true a healthy diet and exercise can affect your mood learned that at college yeah that's it's interesting how that's connected oh my gosh it's your birthday today martha underscore that is amazing happy birthday i hope you have a wonderful amazing amazing day you deserve it because you are such a queen and you have been so so kind to me and i really appreciate it hey josh dot underscore 19 um so how did you write against us the story of how i wrote against us was kind of interesting because I started the song a long time ago in middle school and I wrote it 
about this guy and it was like this really <laughs> weird situation and it was um basically about how like we had just started to get a relationship and then and like things were going really well but then I had to move and so it kind of ended and it was like by summertime and it just had that like we had a great summer feel but then I had to move and go to school somewhere else and so I wrote a song about it and the song was called Fall and if you don't know Fall, Fall is a song that I've kind of put out a little bit um, I put it in my live album and it was there and it's like it's on YouTube if you want to see it Caroline Fall um, I never officially released the studio version though but I released the live version and basically it was about how I don't want to move on and like how I still want to be together but then that situation very much ended it didn't go well like us trying to stay in touch and still be together did not go well and then the situation that I wrote um like that I wrote like we should break up on and off and simple about happened and that kind of overtwined and then the same thing kind of happened again when I moved but then from the previous situation I learned you know we can't stay in touch and I just realized this isn't working and these long distance relationships are not going to work for me and just these toxic relationships aren't going to work with me and how the odds are against us and it's just the statistics of a relationship because I always think you kind of know if it's going to work or not and you see those red flags but a lot of times you just look over the red flags because you want to still date the person and have fun but you know like it's not going to work out so then I I use some of the chords of fall and a couple of the melodies and kind of got that same song and then changed it and turned it in to against us which was really really fun so that was how the song came about it was fun to kind of turn it and change it and it's because I started writing some songs like so so long ago before I even ever put them out I was writing songs when I was like eight and obviously from now since when I was eight there's been a lot of life experiences and a lot of change changed opinion so it's fun to kind of get those old songs and change it to where I am now so then it's fun and then you kind of have both songs and you can look back on them so it's really cool oh by the way did you know that today is national dance day and national gymnastics day who knew that which is crazy and it's crazy that national gymnastics day and national dance day would be on the same day I'm definitely going to do some TikTok dances today because I have to. Do you have the studio version of Fall? I have it, but I haven't put it out yet. Um, maybe someday I'll put it out. I'm not sure. But as of right now, I do have the live version on YouTube and Spotify, which is fun. Study tips. Somebody asked me this yesterday. You know, with study tips, I'm always trying to find better ways to study um, and just ways that work for me. I've, I've learned that every single subject I retain differently, um, but lately I really like doing practice questions and then I like reading and I like taking notes. I also really like flashcards. National Dance Day, no wonder I was extra energetic singing along to songs, more dancing around than usual. That's funny. That's amazing. Music underscore L underscore T underscore E. Yeah, I always think it's fun to dance while you sing. It just makes the singing and the music more fun. And, you know, putting a dance to a song, I feel like, really makes a song come to life. So, it's really fun. And National Gymnastics Day, too. But I cannot do gymnastics for my life. I really, I really wish I could, but I can't. What's your favorite game on Roblox? Well, the only um, Roblox games that I've really played are Adopt Me and Prison Break, or maybe it's Jailbreak, but one of those. Um, and I like both of those a lot. Um, I, I tried to play the horse game, but I cannot play the horse game because it's impossible. It's impossible. Are you ever going to post a dance tutorial? Yeah, I did a dance tutorial to the... Um, to the against this dance on here i might post that on youtube because i did it it's really fun basically it's if you want to see it it's 
You say you send a say and touches and gone that way. I read, we read your text and got nothing to say. I dread thinking about your name. <laughs> I thought you missed it. So yeah, it's really fun. When I listen to your songs, I always imagine I'm on stage doing a tour, but only when I'm on my own though. That is so fun. That is the best. That's like, I do that too when I listen to songs sometimes. It is so fun. It's the best. Um, what's your favorite outfit that you have worn? I always, mm, hard. That's hard. I honestly really liked, um, I wore this on TikTok like a couple weeks ago. I wore a lemon dress with a, um, a belt and a headband like this except it was the black one with um, the jewels and I really enjoyed the outfit and I put white gloves on it. I felt like Cinderella and Belle came together, you know, so it made me really, really excited. Oh, bye KR Ducks 23. By the way, check your email because I sent you something really fun. Um, so yeah, so that's probably my favorite fashion moment and then I also always love it when I wear those crazy shoes. I'm just gonna show them to you because I'm in that type of mood. When I wear these shoes. These are like my favorite shoes that I own. Look how big they are. They're crazy, they're my favorite shoes in the whole world. So whenever I wear that, it that means it's always gonna be my favorite outfit and favorite fashion moment because they are amazing and I'm and look, they're so cute. I love them. I look for them. They're so me, the pink. I love it. I just love it. Especially listening to the vamps, too. Oh, yeah, the vamps are really cool. They're a good band. Um, who won Best BFF yesterday? Okay, well, I mean, everybody wins Best BFF, you know? And I'm doing fun ones. Let's do new Best BFFs. Okay, the Let's Stay in Touch Award goes to Shad underscore Mohammed because... I love you too, so let's stay in touch. And I read your text award is gonna go to music underscore L underscore T underscore E because this week you sent me that song that was amazing that you wrote and I read your text and I loved it and it was really fun. And then the, who, who should the meant to be award? I'm gonna say the meant to be award goes to KR Dubs 23. I don't know if KR Dubs 23 is still on this live, but the meant to be award goes to them because I feel like it was meant to be that we met and that, because basically the way that Care Doves 23 found me was she heard one of my songs at somebody else's TikTok, which is so cool. And I just feel like it was meant to be that that happened and that we came together and she's been really supportive and really cool. So meant to be award, Care Doves 23, which is really fun why the pink eyeshadow you can see it still i thought it didn't look as bad yesterday if you want to see how crazy it looked it looked crazy on my um tiktok because i did full pink all up here and here and then i did red lips but i didn't do the red lips on my full lip i just did it here so it was like red lips were here and then the rest were normal and it was really weird but it was really fun because i really like to sometimes just do crazy makeup I don't do that all the time because I always love crazy makeup, but I can never do it. But it's really fun to do it. And yesterday I just felt like doing something fun and being really extra and fun because I love being extra and I just, I think it's fun. Will you ever do a hair tutorial? Should I? I could because um, I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow, I think or Monday, I don't know when. They're tomorrow or Monday, and so then that means the day after I'm gonna straighten it. So I could show you my routine if you want to, maybe. But I've given you the tip of my bun. My bun tip is my favorite tip. That's how, like how it has this little wave here and here. Basically I get, I sleep with it in a low bun every single night, so then it has like a little bit of a wave. You're excited um, for Halloween. Oh, yes. Um, I, I'm really confused about Halloween this year. 
because I don't know what to be, and so I'm still, I'm still figuring it out, but I, I think it's going to be really fun once we get there, and um, there's going to be some music for Halloween this year. Why did I say that? Oh my gosh, I let the beans spill, but there's going to be some Halloween, you know, I did, I did, um, fall themed music so now i have to do halloween themed music obviously because we're trying to be festive in 2020 because and i just feel like i'm really being festive in 2020 because 2020 has been such a hard year for everybody so we just need to get all the fun and all the goodness that we can get so just trying to be festive you know what's your favorite prop oh my gosh my favorite prop is probably the light up glasses and this is a pair of shoes but i kind of feel like it's a prop you know what do you do when you're anxious um okay it depends sometimes like my anxiety is so bad that i can't even control it and it's really bad but then other times i learn how to control it um breathing honestly helps that sounds so like weird but it does help Another thing that really helps anxiety for me, or at least this is just for me, is just kind of if I'm anxious over a specific problem, trying to find solutions <laughs> and trying to fix the problem and not as much focus on the anxiety I'm feeling, but just focusing on finding a solution for the problem. Um, so then that calms me a lot. Like it's like if I'm going somewhere and I'm late, so I start to get really anxious about it. But then, you know, like, I just get it figured out, and I text the person and tell them how late I'm going to be, and they come back and say they're fine. Like, then I'll feel better, or if I find another way to get there that's faster, or I know I'm going to be there on time, that helps. That's a weird example, but it's true. Or if it's something like, um, or just getting my mind off it sometimes helps, because if it's if I'm anxious about something because I can't control it and there's just no solution because I can't control what I'm anxious about, like there's no point in even worrying about it because I can't, I can't change it. Or if I start to get anxious about something that happened in the past, I can't change that. So I just try to find something to take my mind off it, whether it's doing music, writing songs, posting on social media, talking to a friend, painting, <laughs> studying getting my mind off it and just being productive being productive really helps like just finding something to do that's really useful and fun i want to make a mask oh my gosh for unicornosaurus on halloween like starting point for unicornosaurus costume are you actually going to be a unicornosaurus if you are going to be a unicornosaurus i will die of happiness that is the most amazing thing Unicornosaurus is the best thing we've ever come up with on live, I think. Do you know? OMG, hey Annabelle. Um, how did your faith with God get stronger? I mean, I mean, I think having faith in God and having your faith get stronger is kind of always like um, it's a journey and it's never perfect and you just always have to keep trying and always keep trying to get better and just make that a priority and put things in perspective and be in continuous prayer that helps a lot that that really helps a lot oh here's something else that helps with anxiety looking this sounds so dumb so don't judge me but looking at something aesthetically pleasing you know just looking at something that's very aesthetically pleasing. It, it calms the anxiety. So yeah. Um, I have to go, but thank you so much for watching this. You're the best, and I hope you have a really great, great, did I say great? Like I sound like, I'm a, like it was a baby. What did I just say? I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope you have a very glitterful day. And thank you so much for being my BFFs, and thank you for being here, and just live glitterfully. I love you. Bye.